G'day guys, Dan here from Epic Drives Western Australia. It's early on Saturday, it's freezing this morning, but it's sunny, it's gonna be a really nice day. And I'm heading out to the power lines, but not to do four wheel driving. Um, it's a clean up day, so meeting a few crew out there. And I got the boys with me, you're gonna say hello boys. Hello. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm already running late, so I'll try and get some uh, K's up to get there, but uh, you know, I'm not gonna speed because I'm sensible. Here we go. The plan is I'm meeting up with Wayne. He runs the Facebook page Rise Above 4x4. I'm meeting him just at KFC in uh, Mundaring, and then we're gonna head out to the power lines where a whole bunch of other people, hopefully, um, are gonna be. And uh, yeah, we're running at the moment half an hour late. All right, so just pulling into Mundaring now, hopefully. Uh, Wayne's there. Well, he will be. And, um, to apologise for being a bit late. That'll be them. Ah, that's Wayne next to me over there. So we'll be uh, just in Mundaring, so we're heading out to the power lines now. There's um, there's another Forby crew that met up here. Um, and there's a few more that we're going to meet, and obviously um, like the track care type people, Parks and Wildlife. So it should be a good turnout today. Boys are eating their lunch already at 8.40. There's a barbecue on apparently after this, so. We're going to do a section of Gorry Road, so we're going to head back to the cars. We're back on the road, then back to where we just uh, just rocked up, just to head to where we're going to be cleaning today. Apparently we've scored a pretty good spot that's um, notorious for not being that filthy dirty, but we'll see. Boys are doing a great job, they've already been collecting rubbish. You doing a good job, boys? Yeah. And yes, yeah, so we're just following away. We'll be there in a second. Literally 30 seconds in on Gory Road, not even that. 20 metres down the track, Wayne's found a bumper off the back of a car. It's going to be, uh, I've got my ute, we've got another ute. We're going to fill them up. I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to be cleaning my car after this. Jeez. Good Samaritan and I am. Still belted. Interesting uh, washing machine you got there, Hamish. Yeah, I've got to wash my Nazi flag in there. <laughs> <laughs> Asbestos, Eddie grubs, and uh, we've seen already 20 metres down the track two big loads of asbestos this dump. White goods, of course, filling everything up. We've only just begun. It's filthy. Clearly, builders that have dumped all their building rubbish in this spot here. And uh, it's funny how we, us four wheel drivers, often get blamed. I mean, sure, there's the odd, odd idiot who maybe has a campfire where they're not meant to, but this is, um, this isn't just one, one dump, obviously. This is like three or four loads. Fair bit of work gone into dumping all that. And to get all that out, gee, I mean, that's a front end loader job. And um, surprisingly, it actually appears on Google Maps. So whenever that image was taken, I'll have to check it out. It's obviously, it's been here clearly for a long, long time. And there's, there's plenty of it all around. It's just, this is, this is the state of, of a tip, literally. Shocking. And um, this unfortunately is what gives us four-wheel drivers a bad name. And I don't know any four-wheel drivers who do this kind of thing. Disgusting. It's gonna be a long day, but we're we've got we've got four full loads, full cars full of rubbish already. 
heading back soon to dump it all and probably head back for another run. Uh, 50 meters up the track more. That's all, that's all we've got. So we're not going to pick any of that up, obvious reasons. Just uh, mark where it is and the uh, team of biohazard guys will come out and collect it. Terrible. Endless sea of rubbish. Wouldn't be um, a day out without a little bit of forbian at least. So we're driving back along the power lines track to where we met this morning. We took the, the highway to get to where we, our section to clean up. So we're doing the, doing the track and um, we've also got full loads of rubbish. So <laughs> hopefully the idea isn't to just go and dump the rubbish somewhere else on the track, but we'll keep an eye out for any stray bits of rubbish. Yeah, bit of a bit of a forby, beautiful day. So it's starting to cloud in the sky. Back to the bins, we're gonna dump all this rubbish. And I reckon there might be a sausage or two with my name on it. One thing about the power lines is you always end up finding water. You just gotta be really careful because uh, some of the sections around here are more for like competition trucks, so you can end up just completely sinking your forby. So if you're unsure, as always, just get out with a stick and poke it. Back to the bins and dump it all. There's the bins. The YouTube is here. Plenty of them here. Yeah. Ah, the best bit. Hot dogs. You want a hot dog? You want a hot dog? You want a hot dog? Yeah. You want a hot dog? Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. Yeah. We had empty bins at the start of the day. Yeah. Oh, look at that one. Check out the tires, mattress, oil. And it's all still coming in. Look out boys, barbed wire. So we're done and we got only one growing boy today so that's a pretty good outcome and uh, we're, yeah we're heading back so good day we left before all the rubbish got back there was still a few crew to come back so a pretty successful day probably filled up I'd say about two and a half skips worth and had a dozens and dozens of tires a huge pile of metal so a good a good turnout and a good day and uh, it's it's a good idea these these clean up days good good community is sort of event and it, it helps keep the tracks clear so that's always a good thing not that you know not that the majority of the stuff was anything to do with four-wheel drivers dumping the stuff it's um it gives us all a bad rap and just something to always sort of rem remind yourself of when you're out and about just make sure you clear up all your rubbish and if you're camping just leave it in in the same condition if not better condition than when you arrived and that way, at least if you know Parks and Wildlife are seeing that we're engaging with them and we're helping clean up and we're keeping tracks that are four-wheel drive use only clear, then that's only going to help our cause. Rubbish obviously just ruins it for everybody. Just back on the main drag, making our way back, and just wanted to give a quick shout out to Wayne Champion who runs 
the Facebook page Rise Above 4x4 and uh, his mate Hamish. Cheers to that for organising all that guys and nice to meet you. And if you're looking for a good online community then uh, yeah go over to Rise Above 4x4 and join the group. I'm on there and say good day to everybody on there. So that about wraps it up for this episode of Epic Drives Western Australia. It wasn't really a, a four-wheel drive video per se, but just wanted to highlight the importance of um, engaging with other people and meeting other four-wheel drivers and cleaning up the track. Next time you're out four-wheel driving, pick up some rubbish. Just It doesn't have to be much, but if everybody does their little bit, then it keeps the tracks clear, makes us look good. Parks and Wildlife are happy with us. If you did enjoy watching, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so I can monetize my channel and hopefully get a little bit of coin to help for camera gear and the odd minor repair on the car, that sort of thing. And I'll hopefully see you again very soon on the next episode. I'm Dan, catch ya.